Good morning, students. And we will start with uh, our geography. We have the second chapter. Or we have the chapter population dynamics. So here we are going to start. Well, we have already done this in online classes, but we will be having a revision. We will go through once again. We will see population dynamics. First introduction. What is a population? Now population means the people which are there in the country. Now we will see population dynamics. What uh, First it is written, it is a great resource for a country. Now the people who reside in the country, they are the resource of the country. Because the people, it depends on the people of the country that how the country is going to develop. How it is going to utilize the resources. We will see. Uh, it is the people who make use of other resources like forest, land, rivers, mineral. We have many natural resources in every country. We are having land area, we are having forests, we are having minerals, we are having rivers, water bodies. But if we do not have human beings, we do not have proper population, the resources, these natural resources cannot be used properly and that uh, that is why man is considered as the most important resource of a country. It depends on the people of the country that how they utilize the resources and they lead to the wealth and economy of any country. Now we will see the uh, population dynamics. One word is there, what is population dynamics? Now, study of the number of population and variation in these numbers in time and space is known as population dynamics. Now, population dynamics is the when we study the number of population and how it variates with space and time is what is the rate of increase or decrease of population in a country. So, that is known as a population dynamic of that country or if you study of the whole world. What is the population dynamics of the whole world? Now, next is man is both producer and consumer. So, he is an important resource. We know that human beings are both producers and consumers. We can produce from the natural resources which we have. Uh, for our comfort and living and we are also consuming it. So we are producers and consumers both. Human is the only resource. Human beings have brains and that is why they are considered as the important resource. With the brains, people of a country can lead to its success or we can or the other way. Now, next is population distribution in the world. Now, at present, the total population is 6,451 million. But the density of population varies from country to country. Now the world's total world's population is estimated to be 6,451 million people. But it's not that people are spread throughout the world uh, in the uniform manner. No. We have some people, some places have high population. Some places have very low population. It depends on the land area or whatever resources are present in the place. Now, <laughs> the population if you see in the plain areas, where planes are there, where facilities are available, where water is available, people will be more in number in that places. And if you take, uh, and wherever the climate is moderate, where the climate will be moderate, the population will be more at that place. Now, the place where the climate is very harsh, it's extremely hot or it's extremely cold uh, as in the polar regions, population will be very less in those places. In the same way, uh, the areas which are desert areas where water scarcity is there, population will be less at that place also. So population density varies from place to place. Now we know that we have seven continents in the world. Asia is the largest continent and it is also the most populated continent of the world. It's told about 30% of the population lives in Asia. Now, uh, 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 about uh, selling Asia is the most populated country of the world. Now, Asia is having uh, the most populated countries like we have India and China. Now we talk the most populated country of the world is China. 
and the second number uh, India comes. India ranks second in the terms of population. India is the second highest populated country of the world. Now, of course, one word came population density. So it depends all the places have different population density. Population, what is population density? Population density, we will see first what I have Population density is equal to total population of a country. Total population of a country from total land area of the country. So what is the population of the country and how much land area is present? The ratio between these two is known as the population density of any area. Like we take of India, according to 2011 census, the uh, population density of India was 382 people per square kilometer. 382 persons per square kilometer. What does it mean? In each kilometer there are 30, 382 people living. So this is the density of our country. So overall they have taken out the ratio between the total population and total land area of our country and it comes 382 people per square kilometers. Now, what is the cause of this population growth? Cause of this population growth is three factors are here. The main three factors: high birth rate, high uh, sorry low death rate, and immigration. Now, high birth rate. If any country has more live births per year, the population of that country is going to increase. So, if high birth rate is there, then the population increases. Second reason is low death rate. When people die less in any country. Then also the population of that country increases. So low death rate contributes to more population. Next is immigration. Immigration means, what is the meaning of immigration first we will see. Immigration means people who come from other country to your country, to our own country. So that is immigration, people are immigrating. So immigration means when people of other countries come to our country, that is immigrate. Those people are known as immigrated. So, immigration also increases the population of any place. So, these are the reasons of the population growth.